This time around, we're just gonna lay back, uh, model an outdoor table, nice and easy. When we're done, we go to Keyshawn, bring down the baby out. Town boys for now, man. Let's go. Here we are, Cinema 4D once again. Business as usual. Let's get down to it. Let's drop in our cube. Okay, I'm just gonna eyeball the dimensions because I will adjust them as I roll. Okay, for now I'll go with that. Okay, now let's put this in the cloner. Yes, cloner. Oh, let me put a zero there. Put a zero, you know, put zero, it's one. Put a three, put zero that side. Yes, put zero on the X. Now bring those together. On your Y. Yes. Ah, uh, let's see the size. Yep. I like that size. Now let's increase. Six is fine. Six is perfect. Now let's let's build this. <laughs> Yes, you hold shift, you click that, it will come there automatically. Yeah, okay. Ah, I think I like this. Perfect. That will do. Now, let's make a copy of that. Now, disable the bevel. Let's, let's rotate this. Wait. We don't take that copy we made. Okay, 90 degrees. Pull it back. Resize. Move it down. Yep, that will do. It's the on board, convert that to a smart object. Now let's go to polygons. KL on keyboard, make sure your symmetrical cut is selected. Uh, let's put it there. Okay, select those two. Okay, you just you, you you click that one, you hold shift, you click that one to select them both. With your move tool selected, hold control, drag it down. Outdoor desk really. Nothing fancy. Think I like that. Now let's enable that guy. Go to object mode and see how it looks. Okay, nice and easy. Like that. Let's make a symmetry of that. Okay, I'm just gonna call this word. Uh legs. Put that in there. Now let's symmetrize that. Now symmetry. No 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 no. Yes. Symmetry on in my case is Z1. On your case it might be XY or that one, but for me it's that one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with this. Let's spice things up a bit, put some nails there. Let me just make a simple nail. Okay. I'm gonna put this somewhere there. Right here, slide number two. I think two will be perfect. I click me with five. Oh, 
Where is it? Yes, there you are. Okay, let me just do that. Press C. Now. Skip all of that. Press I. Extrude inner. Hold control. Bring that down. Go in again. Press I. And do that. We're gonna do the same here. No one's gonna see this side. Just gonna make a hard cut loop there. Just do that. Press I, yes. KL on keyboard to enable our loop cuts, loop cut cuts. Make sure again it's on symmetrical cut. Of course, we want that hard surface. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Boom. 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 Let's put this in a sub D. Perfect, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now let's nail it down. Let's see how it looks. I think, I think I like that. So now, what we have to do, put right nails. So let's put this under this clone. Okay, I want to see something. Put that under there. Okay, no B, no worries. Let's move that baby aside. Perfect. So what's next? We can make a copy of that. Move it that side. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a black color on it. Put black color on these nails. Boom! Ladies and gentlemen, Isaac the artist. This concludes the business of the day, really. If there's any questions or there's any form of tutorial that you would like to see on this channel, drop that in the comments below. So now I will quickly render this in Keyshot. Keyshot is a wonderful render engine where you don't have to worry about materials and lights, everything is just there in form of presets. You just drag and drop. Now let's go to Keyshot. Here we are in Keyshot. Let's quickly render this baby out. So I'm gonna start with the nails. So I'm gonna go to my metals. I'll go for the aluminium brushed. Okay. Let's go to the wood section of wood. Uh, light oak. Duck stained oak. Those are the ones that I'm gonna use now while we're here on our left. Tabs, I'm gonna go to environments. Okay, interior. Okay, I'm gonna drag and drop that one. Performance mode, let me disable that a bit. Okay, to work. Still on performance mode because I want to quickly do that just to pan around without it calculating. Now, environment again, let's change the color. Change the color. I think I like that color. Yeah, I think I like that color. Mm, let's enable ground reflections. They will show in a sec. Lighting presets. This is where the magic happens. You can customize your own. Then we have one, two, three, four presets that are made for all of this specifically. Now let's just select product. Now, as you can see, the shadows as well that are showing. So, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our business of this day. You have seen how easy it is in Keyshot, quicker than out something. 
If there's any question regarding modeling or rendering in Keyshot, drop those in the comments. Also check some links. Isaac the artist is always a mode. Thank <laughs> you.